I remember the feeling of being so tired, exhausted actually, and knowing that I had to work the next day would be so discouraging because in fact I didn't really want to go to work the next day uh, and I still went and I continued to go to work the next day until well, until I, I quit my job, but it took me so long to do that. It took me so long. And it wore on me after a while. I remember my attitude at work was changing. I, I was kind of feeling a little bit disconnected from my, uh, from my colleagues and I couldn't wait for the long weekend. I don't know if you've ever felt that way. My name is Linda G. Robert. I'm your Back in the Groove Again coach and I'm here to help you live your best life now so you can love what you do. And you know, when I decided to quit my job, I so needed the break. Now, had I taken a one week getaway to kind of think about things, to, to for myself, and I'm not talking about a holiday where I'm going out to have fun. Uh, because you know, I, I could do that, but the minute I got back to work, I felt the same way. I'm not talking about that kind of holiday. I'm talking about a holiday or travel, a vacation of some sort that you use with the intention of relaxing, with the intention of thinking about what your next step is, with the intention of perhaps even setting some goals uh, so that when you come back, life is going to be different. So an intentional holiday can be very transformative. You know, sometimes when we go in a different country or even in a, in a different state or a different province, it doesn't matter where, but as long as it's away from our work environment, our home environment, sometimes when we do that, um, yes, we relax for sure, uh, but it also gives us a different perspective that allows us to distance ourselves from what's really happening in the, the home environment and, and of course at work. You know, I remember even when I, when I was on holidays, it took me like weeks to disconnect from my job. Sometimes it, um, it doesn't have to take that long, but at that particular time, it would take me such a long time to disconnect. So when I'm talking about a, a holiday to transform your life or a holiday with the intention of resting and and thinking about what it is that you want to do. Of course, allowing yourself some time to disconnect and to visit the area as well, of course. But the intention of it is to come back a, with a different perspective. And of course, um, one way to do that is by journaling. It helps if you know what you want to journal about. It helps with if you know what your desired outcome is. So for example, by the end of my one week holiday, I want to be able to make a decision about X, for example, or uh, by the time I come back, I want to be able to make changes in terms of this and that. So it helps to think about it. Uh, if you had a journal, you know, that would definitely be, help, be helpful as well. And of course, if you have a coach, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you process uh, before the holiday so that you can prepare for the transformative experience. And then even when you're gone, even when you're away for a week, you can also receive coaching. And then when you come back from your, from your transformative holiday, you'll continue with coaching as well to help you set those set those goals and to take action and to make those changes that you so deserve. My name is Linda G. Robert. I am really here to help you live your best life now. And um, for more information on my services, do go to my website at www.lindagrobert.com. I'm a travel coach. I can help you process the information you need before the holiday, during the holiday, after the holiday. And I'm also a travel agent, so I can also help you find the right trip for you as well. All right, take care, bye-bye now.